Locate the FB Multi-Peer application on your computer. Double-click on the application to launch the software. Upon opening the application, the welcome screen will appear. In this tutorial, we will investigate how to assign a desired percentage of steel to a cross-section. Let's begin by selecting the new icon located in the top left corner of the page as shown. After selecting the new icon, FB Multi-Peer will prompt you to select the model type and desired units. In this tutorial, we will make use of a default peer model. After selecting the peer model type, click OK to load the default peer model. After creating the default peer model, the user interface will display four individual windows as shown here. The top left window, entitled Model Data, allows you to directly input analysis and design parameters for your model. The top right window, entitled Pile Plan View, provides a cross-sectional view of the peer foundation. Since we are working with the default peer model in this tutorial, the nine pile layout associated with the default peer model is displayed. The bottom left window, entitled Soil Edit, displays any equivalent soil resistance that was set in the creation of the model. For the default single peer model, a sand layer has already been defined. Note that FB Multi-Peer employs equivalent springs to model the resistance provided by the soil and rock media. Finally, the bottom right window, entitled 3D View, displays a 3D view of the model. Within the Model Data window, navigate to the Pile tab under the Substructure category. Though we have selected the Pile Substructure type in this tutorial, the Percentage Steel function is available for any frame element. So, you can access the same type of feature by navigating to the Peer page. For our tutorial, let's proceed with operating on the piles and we'll select Edit on this page. Upon selecting Edit, a dialog will appear depicting the cross-sectional properties of the pile. This dialog provides both geometric and material properties of interest. Within this dialog, select Edit Section Contents. Selecting Edit Section Contents will open a dialog entitled Rectangular Section Properties. In this dialog, the user is given the option to edit reinforcement parameters, including the shear reinforcement type and free stress after losses. To assign a desired percentage of steel to the cross section, select Percentage under Allocation Methods. Now that the percentage reinforcement feature has been activated, you may enter the desired parameters of your cross section. For the purposes of this tutorial, a reinforcement percentage of 1%, a cover thickness of 3 inches, and a minimum spacing of two inches will be used. Once the desired parameters have been input into the corresponding fields, select Generate Layout. Given the parameters defined beforehand, FB Multipure will present you with various bar sizes, counts, and percentages. Since we desire a reinforcement percentage of 1%, we will select eight number eight bars. Click OK to confirm the selection. As visualized in the cross-sectional view, the number of bars has updated to reflect the selection of eight number eight bars.